Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, awesome initiative. I really enjoyed seeing everything. Um, you could just move over here. I'll move over here. I know I'm the last one. Um, can I get a little audience participation? I need three volunteers. You don't have to move anywhere, but three people, please. We have one. And right here. Can you three please stand up? Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. So if we imagine, and I guess I'll use my magic clicker here. Um, <laughs> in the US, we have 10 million small businesses. If all of us in this room represent those 10 million small businesses, these three awesome individuals are the three and a half percent that have access to support that's available to help them launch and grow their businesses. So they're, you can sit down, thank you. Um, so there are a number of, of organizations that exist. You have um, micro enterprise development organizations. I think I saw on the list that we have some from New America here. Um, we have micro lenders, um, CDFIs that lend money, but they can't get to, they can't get their resource, their support to all of these entrepreneurs that really desperately need the support. Um, they can't because it's expensive. The average, the national average for this type of support is $4,500 per year. That's expensive. That's really expensive. And that's why in the Bay Area alone, we've had a number of organizations that have had to fold because they couldn't continue to bring in donations to support these expensive services. Um, we had some really awesome organizations. Women, Women's Initiative was an amazing organization, um, and they're not with us. So we're looking at how we can address this issue. At Central Community Partners, we work with low-income entrepreneurs on a daily basis, and we're looking at how we can not just help the entrepreneurs that we see face-to-face, -face, but entrepreneurs throughout the United States that are, that are in the communities of other organizations. It, it's, that's good, but that's not a pretty slide. Um, so we do this in a number of ways. Um, through our process, we have developed a system for teaching entrepreneurship in a classroom setting, in a workshop setting, um, where we can take advantage of technology to make the classroom situation, the classroom engagement much richer and more effective. So we're able to teach a lot more, um, and the students, the entrepreneurs, love the environment because they're learning from one another, they're engaged in a, in a productive conversation, and they come to the workshop better prepared to discuss what they're doing. We combine this with a workbook, and we also train the trainers of other organizations. Um, I'll show you an example in a little bit. Um, so, again, these colors look good on the Ooh. screen. Um, <laughs> apologies. So, at Centro, we develop the tools. We do some training on our own, but we develop the tools so that other nonprofits that do workforce development um, or that want to do workforce development can. And they can do that through workshops, through boot camps, through one-on-one -on -one consulting. And the entrepreneurs that we are focused on helping are those that are underserved, low income, minorities, women. Um, we want our tools to help them create jobs, launch their businesses, grow their businesses, and if they need capital, to be able to get that capital. Um, right now, they're not able to get the capital because they don't have a fundable business plan. They have poor credit. Um, and when they go to ask for a microloan or for any loan, they don't know what exactly they need it for. They don't know how much they need. And they're not confident that they can pay that back. So we're trying to address this, this critical issue. Um, we have an app. It's available for Android and iPhone and iPad. Um, it is free. This is what it looks like. There are several components here. We have um, the different areas that most entrepreneurship training programs would cover. And it's amazing that going through all of these steps actually builds a business plan for the entrepreneurs. Um, so at the top, there's a button they can press um, to request a business plan. And at the bottom, there's a link for a microloan. Um, just a couple examples um, through very simple step-by-step -step gamified approach and using simple terms, we're able to communicate um, these steps to the entrepreneurs. Um, for example, in personal finance, we ask for, you know, what do you have to pay for? Do you have to pay for rent? Yes or no. Um, insurance? Yes or no. And then for everything you said yes, you have it there. 
um, they request a business plan, we send them a document um, with their business plan, and they can request a microloan at the end. Um, actually, this will now be up to $10,000. And so we want to see those 10 million businesses across the U.S. have access to this resource. And there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, questions? So the, the question, and you might have to repeat it some, is how do you involve the low-income people who you're working with in your in your workshops? And what was the second question? About the scale of the projects. The scale of the projects that you're working on? Great questions. Um, so an example, we have Urban Solutions in San Francisco. They're a nonprofit. They do um, a lot of services for their community. They came to us asking us for support. And yesterday, we um, helped them start their first workshop series. Um, they had 21 people participating. We look to work with quite small groups, usually between 10 and 15 at a time. Um, as far as scale, um, we have partners in the Bay Area, um, throughout California, and also internationally. We have some groups in Brazil, Peru, and Colombia, and actually one going on in Moldova right now. The app is in English, Spanish, and Portuguese, and also the Android is in Russia. The, the Android only one is in Russia. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, other questions for Centro community? Any comments or feedback? Wow. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Thanks a lot, and, th and thanks for my volunteers. <laughs>